going on, y'all? Just came out of the hospital. Trying to do more vlogging the best way I can. I'm very, 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 uh, very exhausted. I need fucking rest. Like, as soon as I get home, I'm going to turn my phone on vibrate and go straight to bed. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm not feeling too well. I was gonna go to McDonald's and go pick me up something fast and quick, but what I'm gonna do is probably just run into a grocery store and get me something that have to draw my blood and give me IV in this hand. Y'all, I am just tired and hungry and my stomach is just cramped up because I've been using the bathroom so much. And then the guy at my job called me they're like, are you sure? Uh, no, no, no. She was trying to tell me I was going to be in a different position. So then uh, it'll be a little bit easier for me bringing me good news. And I was like, okay, great. But at the same time, I told her, I was like, well, if I'm sick, I got to see if I'm going to be able to come back in here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, when I tell y'all, I feel like poo poo. I feel like poo poo. I had to call my dad, call my mom and stuff like that. I'm telling you, my mom got one of her friends that is a chaplain at the hospital to come see me and she prayed for me and stuff. Y'all, these viruses and colds and stuff, just like the man told me, please make sure when you leave here, you washing your hands a whole lot. Please make sure that you are, are very cautious of what you testing and what you doing. And he was like, please stay hydrated. Drink something with a lot of electrolytes. Get you some Pedialyte, get you some Gatorade, and you need to drink a lot of it. And I was like, okay. So I got to go by the grocery store. Even though I don't want to, I don't feel like it. I'm tired, I just want to go to bed. I still got to go. So I'm gonna go, because I started not to go by the grocery store, but it's like, damn, you still need something to drink, so. I'm just so tired, like, uh, I feel bad, I feel horrible. Ah, uh, I feel so horrible. I hate getting sick, cause I rarely ever get sick, but, uh, the way I'm feeling, man, I just need to go to bed, I need a nap, I need to be somewhere resting for real. I'm gonna go up in this grocery store as fast as the fuck I can. I'm gonna grab me something for breakfast for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna grab me a microwave meal for um for work tomorrow. Just dump it in a clear container and I'm gonna call it a motherfucking day. I'm gonna run that fucking grocery store so damn fast it ain't gonna make no damn sense. I am tired. All I'm gonna do is just be at home underneath my bed. It's already getting ready to bust out in the damn storm. Like, you can see that it's about to bust out in a fucking storm. Like, oh, this weather right here is just horrible. And this stupid little boy driving in the middle of the street. Like, you ain't got nothing else to do with your fucking life. But driving in the middle of the road on your damn cell phone. Ugh, people are so stupid. Go get you a job. And I got to go apply for jobs, too. On that website, I got to get back up there because they said they got a lot of jobs that's open and I need to apply for them. But I know they go by seniority too, so what's the point? I don't know, fuck no. They said I'll be doing mail room all the way until it's time for me to go to basic, which will be good, I guess. Fuck, I don't know. I'll see tomorrow though. So I'll be doing mail work. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Now I get to see what my cousin was doing. Kind of, you know. I think the mail room is in in there with, um, oh, the mail room, I think is the administration office. I think there's way back there in that, yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to figure out. But I think that mail room is actually back there in the administration office. It ain't really in, yeah, yeah, okay. They're like, it'll just be easier for you rather than you being up there, pants and I'm like, well, that's good, because I'm just tired. Like, I get, I get you're delivering me good news, but honey, right now, it's just not the time. 
damn, I just drove past the fucking... I do this every motherfucking time. Because when I'm tired, I can't think straight. I learned that about myself. When I'm tired, yo... What's today? Okay. Seeing that I... Oh, Lord, my memory is getting bad. Like, my mama memory. I'm almost definitely have to start writing stuff down. Oh, I need to come in here and apply for a credit card. Yes, Lord. Oh, I sure can. Matter of fact, I forgot what they told me at my job. Since we work for the state, we automatically can get a credit card with state employees. Oh, I'm damn sure about applying for me a fucking credit card. Bad as I need some motherfucking credit. I'm like, just take it off my shit when I get paid. Because I, I don't know. Right now, I ain't got no money. I'm struggling. Like, I took out another credit card. I'm gonna have to get another credit card. Like, this is how I see how people go into debt. Cause <sighs> you need money. You need motherfucking money, yo. Know? It's like if you broke out here in these streets and you ain't really trying to, you know what I'm saying? Do nothing with yourself, or you got a partner who ain't really doing nothing. You, you you seriously need to reconsider getting somebody else. Getting somebody who's driven and who really wants to make something of their life because slow down. Well, she a damn security officer driving like the damn chicken gonna run away. Shit. I can't stand folks like that. You a damn security officer and your stuff and you driving like you ain't got no sense. Get on somewhere. They must be open today. Praise the Lord. Because I won't get out of my car. I'm hurting. I don't feel good. What's wrong, baby? Mm -hmm. I ain't never getting that motherfucking flu shot. They can't pay me to get that shit. I don't give a damn what you say. Man. I got to turn my daughters in. But this is for my job. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm here to drop off a prescription for my daughter, and I'm also here to pick up a prescription for myself. Y'all, I just got finished uh, putting in my prescription. It's 2 o'clock now. She said give her about 4. That's 2 hours. I need some medication. My size is killing me. Cramping up. I'm tired. I want to go home. I really, I got something to eat. But she said don't eat no salty noodles or no salty food. Or anything with salt. Really. So, that's why I gotta go to the grocery store because all I got is salty food.
They better be putting me on my damn schedule now. That's the shit I'm talking about. Uh -huh, I'm, I'm getting tired of it. Coming to work and y'all ain't got me no schedule yet. Now, I'm glad I get to work in the mail room all the way until, you know, time for basic. But y'all need to get your shit together. I hate jobs that are unorganized and ain't got their shit together. I'm organized enough to get my ass up and come to you. You need to be organized enough to get your ass and damn, have your shit together. Fuck to my motherfucking nerves. Damn. Feel just shitty. I'm just in a shitty mood anyway. I'm about to go pick me up some Gatorade, a couple of microwave meals, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of this damn food line. It ain't gonna take me no damn decade. I already tired. Ready to lay the fuck down, really sleeping. When I get sleepy and shit, I don't like to be around nobody. When I'm sick, I don't like to be around. I don't like to be around folks. I like to heal properly on my own by myself. Motherfuckers kill me. Damn face up on your breath and all that shit. This lady, this ain't for her. These folks in this ghetto ass place. This is my hook groove. Okay, same ghetto miss. This look nasty, like you ain't wash your ass. Damn, man. Yeah, get out of here and get away from around these damn folks. What is up, you guys? What is up? What is up? What's going on? As you can hear it in the tone of my voice, I do not feel well at all. I recently, my daughter was sick the day before yesterday, right? On Monday. She was throwing up pooping Sunday night, in the middle of the night, about one o'clock in the morning. I don't know. Throwing up pooping, like just all of it. Well, y'all, when I tell y'all, I had caught her virus last night. Like it had just came over me. I still feel like a bag of shit. I haven't eaten anything. My body is sore, it's hurting. Like, you can just tell that I'm sick. Okay. I'm on my way to the hospital right now to see if they can, like, come up with something to give me or something. So, because y'all, it's raining, it's a gloomy ass day, and I feel like shit for real. I really feel horrible. I told myself I lost all the whole house down. Everywhere that she threw up, everywhere that she went. You know, I wiped it down. I don't know how I caught her virus. The germs must still be in the house again. So I'm going to go um, lice all it down again. And see. Can I um, wipe the germs off some more? I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, it just hit me like yesterday I was completely fine. I felt fine. I was able to go to work, you know, because I don't like missing work. I just started this job. This is a state job. So, um, yeah, yesterday I was feeling fine. I went on about my normal day. I ate a full meal. Like everything was okay. As soon as I get home that night, I laid down and my stomach started bubbling. It was bothering me a lot. And I was like, what in the hell is going on? And I couldn't sleep and I kept tossing and turning. And I was like, something's not right. Damn near when I woke up, I had to keep shit and I had to keep going to the bathroom. Then I had hot flashes. These hot flashes came upon me so rapidly. And I mean, I was like, ooh, I felt weak, dizzy, just how I feel right now, like dizzy and, and tired. Y'all, before I had known it, 
I was throwing up, throwing up all in the toilet. I had to just flush the toilet stool to flush my poop down, turned around and threw up. Y'all, I was so fucking sick. Y'all out here, if y'all are sick, I'm just saying, please stay at the house, especially if you got a virus. Stay away from children, stay away from your loved ones. I had to text my sister last night. I told her, I was like, please, y'all make sure y'all clean up that house because I'm telling you, when you catch this virus, it's gonna come upon you the day after. Like, it's just gonna hit you. And she was like, okay, I'ma tell her mom, I'ma do it, I'ma do it. I said, okay, because I'm serious. You get this virus, it is horrible. I'm like, yo, I mean, I feel shitty as hell, like for real, because I don't know. I just don't know what the hell happened, like. Then I feel dehydrated on top of that, like, it's just horrible. Then I got, I got some new insurance, so I tried to call my doctor, my old doctor. I haven't seen her in two years. So I had to be seen as a new patient, and all this other shit. I'm like, Lord have mercy, God. But it's all good. I'm gonna get shit squared away with that. I'm just tired, y'all. My kidneys are hurting. Like, I feel my kidneys hurting. That's how much, like, I don't have nothing in my body. Like, you can tell. I don't know if y'all ever been sick to the point to where, like, you, you can feel your kidneys hurting. That's how I know I'm sick. Like, I'm sick, sick. And I had to call out of work. I was like, I can't make it because I feel shitty. Now, I...